curse. I'll get him, honey. Sit still. Wonderful evening, Kathy. And your dinner, I tell you, I give it four stars. Oh, thank you, Charlie. I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed it. You know something? I've eaten in the best restaurants, but there's no place in the world I'd rather eat than right here in this house. And you want to know why? I'll tell you why. Because it doesn't cost a cent. Because it doesn't... <laughs> no, no, because I happen to enjoy Kathy's cooking. Ooh, I'll say you do. Uh, you know, if food was money, he'd have the richest stomach in town. <laughs> the way he attacks a plate is like a vacuum cleaner with teeth. <laughs> got a husband who likes to eat. There's nothing wrong with that, and I'm very flattered, Charlie. Thank you. How about another piece of banana cream pie? Sure, I'd love to. No, some. he doesn't want any. No, I don't want any. <laughs> Why don't I want any? Charlie, you know what happens when you stuff yourself. Your stomach starts barking, you're up all night, so no more banana cream pie. Bonnie, you seem to have forgotten one thing. This is America, land of the free. Brave men have fought and died at Valley Forge in a winter of 76. So that I, Charlie Halper, could be born with the inalienable right to eat what I please. Does that mean you want another piece of banana cream pie? No, it means I studied American history. <laughs> That's silly, pussycat. Now you're being sensible. Oh, listen, honey, you better take one of your green pills and give your little stuffed body a chance for a comeback. Thank you, Dr. Schweitzer. <laughs> Bonnie, a little cream to men? Oh, oh, yes, I'd love some. Thank you, Danny. Fine. <sighs> How about you, Charlie? Would you like a little brandy? Yeah, Dan. No, I'd he like... doesn't want any. I... <laughs> you know, ten years ago at our wedding, I said I do. That was the last time I was allowed to answer for myself. Oh, Charlie, you know I only do it for your own good. This stuff is poison for you. Can I help it? I'm crazy about poison. <laughs> Fine. So who, who in the middle of the night when you wake up screaming has to come to your rescue? Me, the Clara Barton of the indigestion set. <laughs> Nancy Ann, nursing wife. That's who I am. Well, go ahead. Go on, Charlie, if you want to do it, go ahead. But if you get upset tonight, don't call me. Call the Red Cross. Wouldn't do me any good if the Red Cross came. You wouldn't let me eat their donuts. <laughs> <laughs> you think I want you to get that silly? <laughs> oh, you kid, greedy ice cream. How about a hand of pinochle, Charlie? Love it, Danny. No, I don't think he should play. Why, <laughs> oh, pinochle is fattening? Oh, Danny, but you know how excited Charlie gets when he plays cards. It's not good for him. He starts twitching, he gets palpitations, he breaks out in a rash, and his eyeballs pop out. <laughs> and that's when he's winning. You should see him when he's losing. Oh, come on. No, Danny, listen, I'm not kidding. You know, I know this guy. I've been married to him for ten years. Ten glorious years. From the moment she carried me across the threshold. <laughs> well, listen, honey, I think we'd better be going. Hey, Kathy, we're leaving. Oh, Why so soon? You're leaving so soon. Well, listen, the little one's got an early morning appointment, and I know what he's like when he doesn't get that eight hours sleep. <laughs> it's so hard for me to fall asleep, Mama. You always rock my cradle too fast. <laughs> get your coat. <laughs> I'll get it, I'll get it. Sorry you're leaving so soon. Hey, child. Huh? Got a new coat, huh? Yeah, I bought it last week. Nice looking. Where'd you get it? Um, where? Yeah, where'd you buy it? Well, um, Charlie, you, you bought a new coat, right? Where did you buy it? Uh, I bought it for him at Frederick's. <laughs> Danny never lets me buy anything for him. He won't even let me stand outside the store window and point. Not after what you did to me at Miami Beach, I won't. Well, what happened in Miami Beach? I let her shop for me. Bought me Bermuda shorts. What's wrong with Bermuda shorts? I think men are adorable in them. Purple velvet? <laughs> we walked down the beach, I got more whistles than she did. <laughs> and she was wearing a bikini. That's because you have such darling dimples. Oh, never mind. <laughs> All right. Listen, I hate to break this up, kids, but we have to go. Kathy, that was a lovely dinner. Thank, Thank you. you. Good night, Dan. Oh, 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 wait a minute. I'm out of cigars. Hey, Dan, could I mooch one for the walk home? Well, yeah, could sure, I mooch sure, a cigar, sure. please? Course, oh, that's well. Thank you very. What are you doing? It would hurt you for a change to walk home without a cigar. I won't be able to get one till I get home. Oh, what a tragedy! We live all the way around the corner. <laughs> Look, honey, if you didn't have a little cigar stuck in your mouth, you might accidentally inhale some fresh air. So come on, forget it. Come on. Wait, wait, wait a minute, Bunny. Now look, we're gonna get something straightened out, and we're gonna get it straightened out here and now. Do you think you're gonna stop me from smoking my cigars? Yes. We got that straightened out. Good night. <laughs> you reading, Russ? The Taming of the Shrew. Mm. How is it? Long. <laughs> That's a shrew.
Cottrell? A dame. Russell. I'm sorry. Honey, a shrew is a domineering woman. Bosses a man around, runs his whole life, tells him what to do and when to do it. That's a shrew. Oh, that's what I want to be when I grow up. <laughs> a shrew? If you don't get off to school, you'll be a dumbbell when you grow up. Now, hurry up. You'll be late. You too, Russ. Okay, be good at school now, kids, yeah? I will. Rusty, pick up my books. Pick them up yourself. <laughs> I guess you need a lot of practice to be a good shrew. <laughs> <laughs> You've got lots of time for that. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. Bye, bye. The kid says the cutest things. <laughs> hey. Hmm? That's it. That's what? The taming of the shrew. You remember what it was about? This mild-mannered fella who 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 uh, cured his bossy wife by by acting tough. So? Well, it's kind of bugging me the way Charlie lets Bunny boss him around. Charlie, do this. Charlie, do that. Don't eat this. Eat that. Don't drink this. Come on, let's go home. Picks his clothes and all that. Why don't we borrow the plot from Shakespeare and get Charlie to fight back? Charlie fight back at Bunny? Oh, Danny, you're dreaming. If I give that guy a pep talk, I guarantee you he'll stand right up with his shoulders squared, look her right in the eye... And faint. <laughs> you're right. Sure would like to help the little guy, though. Oh, now, Danny, leave them alone. They've been married for ten years. Nothing's going to change them now. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't I talk to Bunny? I mean, tell her that Charlie gets these indigestion attacks only when he's aggravated. And two to one, she's the one who's aggravating him. I've got a better idea. What? Mind your own business. <laughs> Boy, I'm telling you, you know, you just kill me. Like, you just murdered me. What is it with a wife, a husband? I mean, it's like the fella said, behind every successful man, there's a woman who thinks he's an idiot. <laughs> persecuted thing. I feel so sorry for you. Look, honey, they're our friends, and friends should help their friends. The best way to keep friends is to leave friends alone. Now, Danny, please don't interfere in other people's lives. I never interfere in other people's lives. I've never done that. I never interfere. As long as I've lived, I've never interfered in other people's lives. And every time I did, they were grateful for it. <laughs> Just the way Bert and Janet were. Bert and Janet? Yes, Bert and Janet Morgan. Oh, you stepped in there and patched up their little domestic troubles, didn't you? Oh, boy, did you just stick your pretty toes right in your beautiful mouth that time? Oh, I'm so glad you picked that for, for instance. It so happens I saw Bert in the street the other day, and he said he and Janet are getting along just great. Of course, now he's married to Shirley. <laughs> Can't help it if they didn't take my advice. <laughs> Danny, please, do me a personal favor and, and just leave them alone. Please, don't rock the boat. Don't make waves. Just one little ripple? Not even a bubble. Okay. Not just okay, promise. All right, I promise. Solemn promise. All right, solemn promise. And I tell you, Bunny, you're the reason he gets those indigestion attacks. <laughs> you aggravate him. He never gets him unless he's aggravated, and you aggravate him. But, Danny, I love him. I was only trying to protect him. Sweetheart, you're overprotecting him. You're smothering the guy. You're mm. absolutely, positively destroying his masculine pride. I am? Yes, you am. <laughs> Gee, Danny, is, is that what it seems like to an outsider? I'm afraid so, dear. Gee, Danny, I, I, I really didn't mean it to come out like that. I know. Well, it, it's, it's just that I worry about him, Danny. Of course. Well, you know, you know how he pushes himself and drives himself. Every, everything he does, he overdoes. I know. And, and, and as far as taking care of himself, well, well gee, he's, he's like a little boy. And that's when I start giving the orders, telling him to watch his diet and, and, and how much to rest. And... All the rest of it. That's it. Well, that's it. Well, well Danny, I, I, I really, I wouldn't do anything in the world Bunny, if I thought I was hurting Bunny, him. Bunny, listen to me. I know that. But you just hit it just now when you said he, he's like a little boy. That's what's the matter. You treat him like a little boy, so he thinks he's a little boy. You've got to treat him like a man. Make him feel he is a man, the king of his castle. Well, you really think that'd make him happy? You just try it, and he'll never have those indigestion attacks anymore. You just try it. 
All right, Danny, I'll try. Because I, I really love that little character, and I there isn't anything in the world I wouldn't do to make him happy. I know that, too. Hey, Danny, oh hi. God. Charlie, you're back. <laughs> You, you didn't want me to come back? <laughs> of course I wanted you to come oh, back. Be, be careful, you'll bust the eggs. Oh, well, you shouldn't have gone shopping in the first place. Why, why grocery shopping is a woman's job, and, and Charlie, you're a man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, anyway, darling, I, I'm, I'm glad you're back. Now, you may not be so glad when you find out I forgot the salami. <laughs> Darn the old salami. <laughs> oh, gee, Charlie, I love you. Kiss me. <laughs> Kiss me. Gee, it feels so funny from up here. <laughs> I'll get them, sweetheart. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Kathy, there's one thing about your dinners. You never strike out. Oh. Never a loser here. Especially that strawberry shortcake. Mm. Oh, Charlie. You are my favorite dinner guest. Thank you. Oh, how would you like some chocolates? Oh, no, thank you. Uh, Bunny says too much... Oh, darling, it's not up to Bunny. It's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'll take a green pill later. <laughs> Honey? No, no, thanks, Dan. Yeah. Some brandy, Charlie? Um. Well, it's up to you, dear. If you want one, go ahead, take it. Uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, ha I'll have some brandy. Yeah. <laughs> I have a feeling somebody's been making waves. <laughs> And if somebody has, we're sailing very smoothly. <laughs> Here you are, Carlo. Thank you, Dan. How about you, Bunny? A little cream of No, no, no. Thanks, Dan. No? no? Really? Boy, is my liver gonna be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Long time no see, eh, Mac? <laughs> Glad you enjoyed that. Say, how would you like a cigar, Charlie? Mm. <laughs> uh, but, boy, I, I hope I can remember this dream when I wake up in the morning so I can, <laughs> so I can tell my friends about it. Uh, Here, <laughs> Thank let me, you. Let me light it for you, honey. No, 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 you, you better not light it, because if this is a dream, I shouldn't smoke in bed. <laughs> <laughs> I think, uh, I think I'll have some, some more of that strawberry shortcake right now, huh? No, on top of the cigar and, and the brandy? Well, well, why not, Kathy? I mean, if, if Charlie wants it, he should have it. Well, all right. I'd better make some fresh coffee. Oh, well, I'll, uh, I'll help you, Kathy. Charlie, Charlie, how did you ever do it? I Wonderful. didn't... I didn't do nothing. Huh? I didn't do nothing. She flipped. What? <laughs> she's sick. Oh, she's sick. <laughs> she's not sick. What makes you say that? But, God, but with all the hugging and the kissing and the, what do you want, Charlie? And what do you think, Charlie? You don't think she flipped? <laughs> if she's flipped, she's flipped for you. Huh? Don't you see, Charlie? She's just getting used to the idea that you're the boss of the house. Well, now, if I can just get used to it, we'd make a wonderful couple. <laughs> you will, you will. Hey, hey, Charlie, listen. I want you to hear this. I think I'll make a great middle line number. Listen, listen to this, listen. I want to be happy, but I won't be happy. Till I make you happy too Life should be worth living When you are birth given Why don't I give some to you When sky 
skies are gray and you are blue. I'll bring the sunshine to you. Oh, I want to be happy, but I won't be happy till I make you happy too. I want to be happy, but I won't be happy till I make you happy too. How about that, Johnny, huh? Good. What do you think, Charlie? Johnny? Charlie? Oh, hiya, Danny. Hiya, Danny! <laughs> I just sang a whole song for you. What do you mean? What's that higher than what's wrong with you? I didn't say, I didn't, oh, Danny, please, we don't bother me with the songs. I got a lot of troubles at home. What troubles at home? What's the matter? Weird. The whole thing is weird. What's weird? You know what my wife said to me last night? No, what? She said, uh, I hear the boys are gonna play poker tonight at the Friars Club. I guess you're planning to go. So I said, uh, if it's all right with you, darling. Uh-huh. You know what she said? No, what'd she say? You won't believe it. What'd she say? It's the weirdest thing. <laughs> what'd she say? She said, have a good time. <laughs> That's not weird, Charlie. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. It ain't only that. I mean, it ain't only that. She's driving me crazy with them cigar butts. What about she, she don't complain about me leaving them around anymore, you know. Before, it used to be if I just left one cigar butt, you big thing. But now, weird. Weird, I tell you. I don't like it. Them cigar butts, they bother me. Oh, they bother me. Excuse me. Hello? Yeah? Oh, hello, angel puss. <laughs> yes, darling. Well, just a minute, sweetheart. It's my wife. <laughs> I didn't think it was the plumber. <laughs> huh? What, dear? About our vacation? Where we... Well, you, you always do the planning, Bunny. I mean, you're the one who always... Yeah, but... Uh, uh, you want... Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I will... I will help, yeah. I'll, I'll work on it, honey. <laughs> Goodbye, dear. <laughs> there is a witch doctor in here somewhere. What? This is the weirdest yet. What's weird? She wants me to decide where we'll go for our vacation. So decide. Yeah, but she never let me decide before. But Charlie, this is an entirely new regime now. Do you understand? Bunny realizes you're the boss. I'm, I'm, I'm the boss? Of course you're the boss. You should be happy about it. Well, I, I am happy. I'll well, be real happy. I'm, 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 I'm happy. Show me how happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm, happy. Real happy. I'm, 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 I'm the happiest man in the world. Like Great. my stomach. What's the <laughs> so, well, when your phone didn't answer, I brought him here. Well, is, is he all right now? Oh, he's just fine. He's been resting for over an hour. Yeah, he's great. He's fine. Well, dear, I just don't understand it. I mean, why should he have an attack now? Danny, I did everything you said. Honey, you've been wonderful. I... Oh. So you're here. Oh, Charlie, darling, are you all right? Yo, I'm, I'm, I'm all right. Well, listen, Charlie, why don't you come home and rest in your own bed, and, and I'll leave the house. I'll, I'll kind of go out shopping, and you can have absolute quiet, okay? Going shopping, huh? Mm-hmm. Alone? Well, yes. Well, uh, you're not meeting anybody? <laughs> well, no, who would I be meeting? Uh-huh. Well, if you're not meeting anybody, uh, why don't we go shopping together? I thought you wanted to rest. I don't want to rest. I want to go shopping with you. Well, well, whatever you say, dear, you're the boss. <laughs> I am? Uh-huh. Well, supposing I say, like, we'll go downtown so you can pick out a new suit for me. Oh, no, no, dear. I wouldn't presume to do that. You're, you're the man. You should pick out your own suit. Any style, any color, you, you don't care? No, no, I don't care. Why don't you say it? <laughs> say, 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 say what? If you want a divorce, be a man and say so. <laughs> a divorce? You heard me. Don't beat around the bush. You don't love me. You want to get rid of me. Charlie, how can you say that? I can say that. It's very easy. Ah, you don't know what's been going on. Let me do everything I want. Let me say everything I want. Oh, very simple. Why? Don't want me around anymore. That cream pies, the brandy. You know it's poison for me. But did you say stop? No. You said goo. Goo, take anything you want, Charlie. Sure, you figured it'd be a little time. 
Poof! I'll be finished. You keep your big nose out of this. <laughs> and then let me leave my cigar butts around the house? Huh? Oh, that was a very clever move. Sure. So his cigar butts and my cigar butts would mingle. And like that, I'd never suspect he was there, huh? <laughs> yeah. Who him? That's who him. Who? Who you got lined up for my replacement? Who's the That's guy? That's about enough out of you, Charlie <laughs> Halper. <laughs> Am I to understand that you are saying that I don't love you anymore just because I stopped bossing you around? Well, I thought... Well, stop thinking and listen. <laughs> yes, ma'am. There is only one man in the world that I love, and that is you. Yes. Do you understand? You and nobody else but you. You are the one I love. I love you. <laughs> Even with the hole in my chest? <laughs> idea you have a lot of nerve to even think that there was anybody else well now be quiet and listen yeah yeah that's the trouble you've been doing entirely too much talking lately yes i have yes i have and it's gonna stop do you understand yeah 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 and another thing from here on in you're gonna drink what's good for yeah. you you're gonna eat what's yeah. good for you yeah. and you're gonna get your proper rest uh -huh, understand uh -huh. and i'm gonna see to it that you do uh-huh yeah yeah now uh -huh. come on <laughs> wait 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 a minute where are we going to pick out a new suit for you. And if you even dare suggest a color, I will break every bone in your body. <laughs> she loves me. <laughs> Someone happy, make just one someone happy, make just one heart the heart you sing to. One smile that cheers you, one face that lights when it nears you, one girl you're Fame, if you win it, comes and goes in a minute. Where's the real stuff in life to cling to? Love is the answer. Someone to love is the answer. Once you found her, your world around her make someone happy one someone happy and you will be happy Sang that like it really came from the heart. Certainly did. Because I got a wonderful someone to be happy with. You really mean that? What a silly question. I wore your cockamamie Bermudas, didn't I? What more? <laughs> 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 